But I, wa I wanted to just show you guys the numbers. So I always like to do a soul winning update as well um, every three months. I also show you our stats from the very beginning of when we started this church. I think it's really cool that we use a program like Spotio because it makes this very easy to, to show you guys. And then it also gives me a chance every three months to encourage you all to get involved in the soul winning, you know, because obviously the more of us go out and knock the doors, more numbers we're going to get. It's not just about the numbers, you know, because obviously we can't always control what people's responses are, but it's great to look back at what we've done and just be encouraged by, uh, by the numbers. So you can see Q3, I've just named it Q3. Those were the, that was the last report I did. And I put Q4 plus one because I'm actually one month late on this, but then I thought, oh, I'll just make the Spotio stats line up with the financial year. Uh, so it's actually the last three months plus June. So then the next update I can give you guys just lines up with the financial updates. <clears throat> so you can see the different statuses, not home, not interested, gave a tract, brief discussion, heard the gospel. For those of you guys who know Go Soul Winning, you know what these all mean. So brief discussion, you just be able to say something to them quickly, heard the gospel as you actually preach the gospel to them. Um, if they want it to be followed up, if, they're, if you got them saved, if they were already saved, uh, following up saved means you got them saved and you might want to visit back again or you're following up and they were already saved and then we've got church member and then we've got these different ones which is like it's a commercial building they didn't speak English or they told you to get lost right which is aggressive so <clears throat> a couple of cool things is we can see that in Q4 plus one huh, we knocked almost twice almost twice the amount of doors. So that was actually a pretty cool quarter in terms of um, how many people were involved. Because I think in the last couple of months, we did have a few new people coming out, so we were knocking a lot more doors. Uh, so that was good. Um, this column all is the total stats from the very beginning. So you can see since we started this church, we've knocked 16,000 doors. I like to look at the stats um, without the not homes included, just because obviously when somebody's not home, you just move on. You sort of want to get an idea. If somebody actually answers the door, you know, what, what's the chances that they might respond differently and things like that. So this XNH is excluding the not homes and then that way you can see the percentage compared to if you include people that weren't home uh, or if you have people that were home, what the percentage was. <coughs> So at the bottom there, total doors knocked, 16,114. So you can get a percentage of how many were answered. I like to show, you know, these is how many houses um, were letterboxed in terms of, you know, we, well, I guess they were all letterboxed anyway, either way. So it's actually 16,000 houses letterboxed. <coughs> This is total at least heard the gospel. So I like to look at that because 12.48%, that's saying that out of 100 people, you know, that you knock on a door and somebody answers, 12 to 13 out of 100 of those will actually talk to you. So it's, it's a pretty high percentage if you think about it, you know, 12 out of 100. Cause, <clears throat> but, um, so there are people out there obviously willing to talk and willing to hear the gospel. So that's heard the gospel and up. And then total saved, it's still hovering at about 1%, which is pretty good. So that's saying one out of every 100, roughly, gets saved of all the doors that we, of all the doors that answer. And I always like to remind everyone that, you know, there's 0.51% of people that actually got angry at us. You know, if you include the people that are not home, that's only 0.28%. So there's really nothing to be scared of. You know, like people, you know, people may not want to talk to you, but they're generally polite. Um, you, we mark them aggressive if they're literally like, get lost, and don't come back. You know, they're, they're, they're rude to you. Um, and there really isn't that many. I mean, 45 people out of, you know, 8,900 is nothing to be scared of. So definitely encourage you guys to get involved. So just remember, we've changed the schedule up a bit now just because we've moved in and we're doing a, an evening meeting now. So we don't have that many people right now going on Saturday morning. Generally, it's just my wife and Desiree. So I don't know, you know whether Saturday works for you guys. We can do a Saturday afternoon if it works for you guys better. 
Um, but we do have the main time, which is one o'clock on Sunday afternoon. So we did keep soul winning in the afternoon, but we just moved the evening, the, the meeting to the evening. So we meet at my place at one o'clock. We go soul winning from about one to three. And then we gather back at the house afterwards at about four o'clock just to pray for the people that we've spoken to on Saturday and Sunday. And then after we pray, we, we get packed and then we, we head over to here. So definitely encourage you guys to get involved. You know, don't, I know it's very easy. You know, I have compassion, obviously, that people have things going on in their life. It, you might not use, might, it might not, you might not be used to having it a priority in your life. And of, of course, the flesh is lazy. You know, it's easy to be lazy. I get it. But, you know, that's not an excuse. You know, you got to keep, you got to, you got to get involved. We got to get out there and preach the gospel. Because really, this, this, these stats that you're seeing here, this is probably six to eight people in our church. I mean, eight to ten people consistently going every week. Can you imagine if all of us consistently went every week? You know, like our church on average is like 30 to 40 people. And, you know, eight to ten people going consistently is knocking 16,000 doors. I mean, we could be looking back if everyone was in, involved and saying, wow, we knocked 30,000 doors, 40,000 doors. We've seen twice the amount of people saved. So definitely encourage everyone to get involved and don't make excuses.